Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please can subscribe down below on the easy to use sub button or up above on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. Let's get right into this. This is the next video on the women's prelim that is Japan defeated Denmark 6 to 2 due to a great job starting early by Japan being able to get breakaways and goals that um, Jensen um, would probably want back. Uh, in this uh, in this game uh, for for Denmark uh, that that's for sure where she had a couple the one that she should have been able to pick up and and went through the five hole in the post I think that was the sixth goal or the fifth goal and then the other on the breakaway that the defense could have been able to pick up the Japanese attacker but they were able to get it right through the five hole there's a couple goals in this game that I think Jensen would have wanted back uh, that is for Dorn. Uh, sure, uh, when we look at the overall uh, game, though, it was really Japan just had the more offensive star-studded power. This is Denmark's first tournament, as I said in an earlier video. They were able to get to their consolation goals with their second and third. That second goal was a really good goal, uh, top shelf coming in on a break by Denmark. Or the first goal, excuse me, was a really good one. Top shelf, the first goal of the game, the second goal of the tournament for them was very good top shelf. Goal for Denmark, and then they were able to score late uh, on a nice stay with it play uh, that they were able to get it in from the slot and get it through <clears throat> uh, Fujimoto, who's been one of the best goaltenders of the tournament for the Japanese club. But the three key takeaways from this game for why Japan was able to take down Denmark is one, they're just the stronger club. Uh, Denmark's again in their first tournament, they're going to get better as years go on, and they're going to become eventually, potentially, as they keep growing the game over there to the level of where the Japanese club is, but they're just not there yet. This is their first tourney, and they're still working their way up. They got to the consolation, uh, second and third goals. They were able to uh, do a um, video on this game soon, but they were able to then win a game in their next game, and that's the game I'm going to be uh, recapping later today. So uh, the, the team played really well, honestly, for the first tournament, uh, showing signs for the future, um, and they continue to then play one winning game. I'd have to give them a B to a B plus for their tournament play, but the thing is Japan this far has been a A plus for the way that they played in the tournament, and they just continue their great play in this game, led by great breakaways, great goaltending by Fujimoto again. And then also their defense is able to shut down people as well uh, in their group uh, over there. In Group B, uh, they're able to shut down pretty much anybody as well as attack rate with their offense due to Fujimoto, their defense, and the fact that they have the best, if not, no, they have the best probably offensive attack of that group. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the Japanese versus Denmark game that Japan was able to win 6-2 to two over Denmark, led by great attacking offense, leading to early breakaways that were able to get them up 3-0 early, and then they just never really looked back. Denmark was able to get their consolation goals. They've been good for their first tournament, but it's just the Japanese club is just too star-studded attack-wise. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing.